So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Spark OS 13.5 based on Android 13 for Mi 11X Redmi K40 the Poco S3. So the prerequisites are you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to stay on Mi UI, and you have to remove your password and security. You have to remove your Mi account. You have to remove your Google accounts. Once all of them are done, you need to have the firmware part of your ROM, which is the recommended one, 13.0.9 and the firmware and the ROM in your internal storage once you have all of them we can we can reboot our phone into TWRP by pressing on power off and keep on pressing the volume and the power up button so well once your TWRP is good you can head into wipe advanced wipe select the library card cache and then swipe to wipe then we can go back go to install click on the firmware part and then uncheck automatically flash TWRP and then swipe to confirm flash. Once that is done, we can go back. We can go to install. We have to click on the Spark OS ROM zip, then click on automatically flash TWRP and then click on swipe to confirm flash. Once your ROM is installed, we can check for errors. The failed amount errors can be ignored and the recovery has flashed properly and now we can go to reboot and click on recovery once the TWRP is booted we can go into wipe format data and then type in yes this will result in wiping out all your data once format data successfully you can click on reboot system we didn't have any initial setup so I don't know why so now let's first head into the camera so the camera app is pretty cool. It's the stock camera that we get in the MIUI. So, and we have the stock camera options and the video we have 1080p 30, 4K 30 and then 720p 30. Under photos and under we have 48 MP in this. So that's pretty nice. And that's it for the camera app. And now we also have the Dolby app is pre-installed so that's nice. Now let's head into the settings and the Android version is 13. And the kernel version I'm using is no kernel. The fireworks you have the Spark OS settings and the arrangement looks pretty nice. So let's head into themes, we have modded engine. And under font settings, we can change the fonts. Under icon pack, we can change the icons to oxygen or surrounded or any other options available here. And under signal, we can we can change uh, them separately to any uh, theme we want and and the icon shape we have different icon shapes we can change them to any one like leaf and that's nice under main menu layout we have oxygen OS 11 12 spark codes and clean we need to be doing a restart for that so we have some options here and under lock screen we have left and right shortcuts. We have custom lock screen color which can be changed to our ones we want. We have clock front style, we have lock lock screen date font style. Let me just choose something. And well that's nice. Now let's go to pulse. Pulse is nothing but it just shows a graph of the music being played under your and that's nice under status bar we have clock style uh, status bar icons we can enable and disable what to be under clock and date we have under battery bar we can change the thickness alignment bend colors and colors and we can dis and under low under logo we have we can display a, a a custom logo we want we have colored icons
under gestures we have system settings we can change it to buttons or uh, swipe and we, here we have the volume rockers that's a pretty good animation the way the settings roll that's nice so that is it for the volume rockers and now under the miscellaneous we have screen of animation android p animation style we have the weather settings under that and we have spark core system manager it optimizes device power consumption and we have spark system boost and a uh, spark aggressive idle mode we can turn off wi-fi bluetooth and mobile data separately and now we have a kill app button this can be used to kill a specific app, a specific app by long pressing a power menu we have unlimited google storage photos and we have spoofing high fps in games so we can get 120 fps in games like Ash of clans and 90 fps in bgmi we have ad blocking that's a pretty good option Under power menu, we have advanced restart and screenshots, flashlight settings, etc. Advanced is nothing but you can reboot into recovery system UI and bootloader. We have many more options which can be enabled. Let me just show you. Under power menu animation, we have so many options. This is, go this is gonna change the animation in which the power menu comes in. 3D, the thing is gonna roll. Yes. And well, we have some pretty cool widgets like setting service widgets, settings widgets, and some Omni JAWS widgets, messaging app, and separate apps we have with so many widgets available. And this is how recent apps looks like. We can take a screenshot, we can lock the apps, or we can clear the apps. That's nice. And then now let's straight away head to the Geekbench 6 test on this ROM. So let me just run the CPU benchmark. So well, we have a single core of 1070 and a multi core of 3154. That's pretty nice. And we also have the no kernel installed in this ROM. And now let's start the CPU throttling test in this ROM. So well, in the start, we have been having about 100 to 99% or 95%. But in the end, we see drops up to 80%. That's really nice. And so, if this video helped you on how to install Spark OS, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.